Hi, I'm Marlena Esparza, Olympic boxer for Team USA. I won a bronze medal at the 2012 London Olympic Games. And fun fact, I was the first woman to ever qualify for the Olympic Games in boxing. Now I'm gonna show you a few tips. We're gonna start off with some footwork drills. A lot of people think that boxing is just primarily upper body, but what they don't realize is that everything you do in the ring comes from the bottom up. So you really gotta make sure that you know your feet, know your foot placement, and that way everything can transition better into the ring. This is good for anybody who just started boxing all the way to someone who's been boxing for up to 10 years. For the first drill, what I'm gonna show you is how to move in and out of the pocket, which means in and out of your distance with your opponent while being able to circle to the left and circle to the right. This will work both for orthodox and southpaw fighters. We're gonna pretend that your opponent is always on the outside of these cones. We're gonna step in, throw your punches, and then you'll step out. This is keeping you out of range. And then you'll circle, same thing. In range, throw, out of range. Circle, in range, out of range. So it might seem a little bit repetitious, but you do need to understand exactly how it feels to move your feet. That way you can always stay in range when you wanna be and out of range when you need to be. A lot of common mistakes that people make when they step in, they forget to keep their hands up. Because you are in range to hit them, they're also in range to hit you. So you need to make sure that when you throw your punches, you're always keeping your hands back to your face and that you're always moving both feet forward and backward. So it's an equal movement. A lot of people tend to step in and bring their back foot or step out and drag their back foot. If you step in and move forward, you're gonna get hit, you'll be off balance. If you step out, and drag your back foot, what would happen is that you'll get stuck on your back foot and you're more likely to get hit. So now I'm gonna be demoing how to get in and out in three different angles. If you can't find something like this, you can always just use tape. What's most important about this drill is that you have to move your foot and your head at the same time. So we're gonna pretend that we're avoiding a right hand. You're gonna step in and turn down. You won't get hit with anything. You're in a safe position. You'll be able to throw back or you'll be able to turn out or you'll be able to step away at a 45, which will potentially avoid anything coming at you. Same thing goes to the right side if you're an orthodox fighter. This will be potentially avoiding a straight jab, even a left hook if you're low enough and you can step back out. Pay attention to the fact that I'm staying centered when I step. I'm not leaning back, I'm not leaning forward. I'm right where I need to be in case I need to throw a punch. Once you have the hang of that, you can kind of just have a little fun with it. Switch it, switch it, come down. Make sure that you never leave your back foot straight up. That's what a lot of people tend to do wrong. You won't be able to throw anything if your back leg is straight. So this is good not only if you're trying to avoid something, but also if you're trying to land something at the same time. So with this drill, you're always gonna be stepping laterally. And this helps because a lot of the times we think that boxing is in and out, but our opponents will be trying to avoid to the left or evade to the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step in, step out, step in, step out, step in, step out. That might seem a little basic and boring, but what you have to realize to make it to the next box, I'm not stepping straight back. Because if I were to step straight back and try to make it there, I would get hit and I'd get thrown off balance. So I have to make sure that when I step in, I'm stepping out at a 45, and this is the constant movement. And then you can throw in the head movement that we already learned. Just making sure that your foot placement is always putting you in the right position for the next punch or in the right position for the correct head movement. Now that we're done with our footwork drills, make sure that you focus on the cones, circling to the left, circling to the right. Make sure that your front leg and your head move together. And also your foot placement on the ladder, stepping out at 45 angles. I really hope that you use these and be safe. Thanks for watching. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. I was the first woman to ever qualify for the Olympic Games. Perfect. And can you say a little bit? In boxing. boxing. Yeah. Other than that, it was... I know, perfect. almost perfect. <laughs>